Are you ready to downsize the oversized handbag? Well, we've got an idea for you. Today we're going to make a simple clutch and then we're going to let your creativity take over. I'm Kim. And I'm Chris. And you're watching The DIY Dish. Welcome back everyone to another episode of the DIY Dish. Today we are going to make this really cute and simple clutch. And I found it interesting just the other day I read this article where they were talking about women who are now beginning to uh, carry hand clutches instead of the big oversized bag. Yeah. I guess because all that stuff in the bag is going to cause some neck pain and sure. shoulder pain and that kind of thing. Yeah, you know I can see that but I'm... I am still really partial to my oversized handbag. I know. Handbag. We definitely need both, don't you think? <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> but you know, if you're going somewhere quickly and you need to take just a few just things, just a few things, yeah. Then the clutch is a, a great way to go. Yeah. They're very stylish, and the interesting and the best news of all <laughs> is that they can be made so cute. Yeah. And they can really make a fashion statement. So today we thought it might be fun <laughs> to show you a very simple, very yeah. basic clutch bag sewn together with your favorite fabrics. And thanks to today's sponsor, we'll be sewing <laughs> on my new favorite machine, the Janome <laughs> MC11000, which, Kim, it does not only sewing, but I know. my favorite thing is embroidery. It combines <laughs> both worlds. Yeah. It's definitely the best of both worlds because it embroiders as well. Yeah. So, are you ready to get started? Yes, definitely. Here's what you're going to need. First of all, choose two different fabrics and you'll want a 9 inch by 12 inch piece of each mm -hmm. of those. Then you'll also want a 9 by 12 inch piece of fusible interfacing. Okay. You know, the fusible interfacing has a little bit of shiny on one sure. side, dull on the other side. Then you'll also pick up some 1 8 inch ribbon or elastic cording, okay. something you're going to use for the closure along with a button. And of course, the optional items would be any kind of embellishment you'd like. And we're going to show some ideas of what to do with that today. Great. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with this project. What I've done here is I've cut out the 9 by 12 inch pieces of fabric, two of them. Mm -hmm. Okay, one for the lining, one for the outside of the clutch. Then, with your fusible interfacing, go ahead and according to the manufacturer's instruction, go ahead and take your iron to it and press it on the wrong side of one of the pieces of fabric. Okay. Okay. Once that is finished, you'll actually take both pieces of fabric and with right sides together, pin along the outside edge. Okay, right there. And once that is all pinned around there, you'll go ahead and take it to your sewing machine. When you take it to your sewing machine, what you'll be doing is you, by using a quarter inch seam allowance, you'll sew all the way around all four sides but except you'll leave about a three inch space, three to four inches so that you can at the bottom it. so sure. that you can turn it inside out. Okay, so before taking it over to the sewing machine, if you, you wanted to embellish your clutch, now would be the time to do it before sewing those two pieces of fabric together. So let's say I wanted to have a little bit of a ribbon trim along here, I would take this to my sewing machine and go straight down the center, attaching this and then placing my second piece of fabric over top of that, okay? But for uh, the demonstration today, I'll just go ahead and begin right here. Now, this is a great machine and there's a lot of reasons why I love it, but one of the things that I think is really key is that, and especially for you quilters out there who who know that the quarter inch seam is so important, is that Janome MC11000 has this area, this touch screen, where I can adjust my needle position, and I can also adjust what this clear item is called an AccuGuide, okay? And I'm going to press that AccuGuide button right there, and it's going to move the carriage into position, where now I have a guideline to place my fabric up against. So if I wanted to have the quarter inch seam, I simply use my touch screen, just like this, to where it says a quarter inch. And now the guideline is right there, and I know I'm going to have a perfect quarter inch seam allowance. 
I'm going to begin in the middle here and begin sewing. Of course, remembering to backstitch at the beginning and again at the end. And I get to my quarter seam, I'll make sure that, or my corner area, I'll make sure that my needle is down, pivot the needle, and continue. So now I have that quarter inch seam allowance. I'll go ahead and take my scissors and just clip the corners here, just like that, to remove that bulk. And then turn it inside out. Now, if you wanted to do, let's say, a 5 and 8 inch seam allowance, allowance, which is very common in sewing clothing, you could do the same thing on this machine and just move that AccuGuide to uh, the 5 8 inch seam allowance. Okay, so now that uh, you have that finished and those are sewn together, turned inside out, all the corners, you know, looking good, you'll take this to your ironing board and press it flat. Mm -hmm. uh, that will get it ready so that you can do a top stitch around and make it look really nice. Yeah, I'll finish it off. Nice. But before you do, remember how we left that opening? Okay, mm -hmm. this is where you're going to actually fold that in a quarter inch in there and then take your iron to it to uh, press flat and then take your ribbon this is going to be your loop closure and pin it right in the middle there mm -hmm. just like that you could use ribbon or even an elastic right? exactly okay. exactly and then uh, go ahead and top stitch all the way around making sure to catch that ribbon in fact when you go over that ribbon make sure you go over it several times you know back stitch forward sure. back stitch just to make sure it's nice and tight in that closure area okay so once this is all sewn around the outside of it you're going to take up uh, the bottom of it about eight inches. So just measure to the eight inch mark. Okay. Okay. And then go ahead and take your iron again, press it so that you have a nice seam there. Mm -hmm. And then sew the ends closed. Sure. Just like that. And then you'll have. Oh, I love your, this. Your. Um, top your, flap? <laughs> top flap. Your, what is it called? Your clutch. <laughs> top flap clutch. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay. And be sure to hand sew a little button okay. on the front so that you have a closure for the button. I know what you were talking about. You know, about. sometimes I just, you know, <laughs> the words aren't coming. The brain freeze. <laughs> exactly. I love that this is a simple mm -hmm. sewing project yes. that anyone can do. And I think our daughters would especially love yeah. making a lot of these. I think they'd probably be making one for every outfit. Oh boy. <laughs> sure keep them busy. Yeah. <laughs> and what makes it really fun too is all of the embellishing ideas. Yes. Take a look at some of these photos where we've dressed up the different clutches. Here we just added ribbons, and a more modern look might be to add this simple felted flower, or how about some really cute ruffles, yes. or even personalizing the clutch with machine embroidery. And if you're gonna do machine embroidery, then you'll want to also add that design sure. before sewing the two sides together. Yeah, And that's note. gonna make it just perfect. Yeah. Okay, you know, the same pattern can be so different from for everyone involved who's yeah. making it, because it a lot of it depends on the fabrics you use, yeah. the look you're going for, or even the buttons, buttons. you choose. Sure. There are so mm -hmm. many fun ways to embellish, and you can make several in an afternoon for gifts or even for yourself. Oh, definitely. To close, we want to thank today's sponsor, Janome. Be sure to check out their website to see their full line of fantastic machines, including this MC11000 sewing and embroidery machine that Chris mm -hmm. used today. If you're looking for a workhorse machine and you want to save on space, this is definitely one to keep in mind. And of course, we'd love to see what you can make with this basic clutch handbag and see your unique spin on embellishing yeah. it in a lot of fun ways. You can find mm -hmm. us at our blog at thediydish.com or add your photos to our Facebook or Flickr pages. Thank you for joining us today. We hope you felt that creativity was served. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.